It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with the first ever uh, country music festival in South Africa. It is happening in October. It'll be uh, co headlined Zach Brown Band and Kip Moore. How about that? That's hot. That's great. Wow. Spreading um, the love all over the world. Allegedly, Darius Rucker and Brothers Osborne will be on the show as well. And yeah, big deal. They go on sale soon in October in South Africa. First ever country wow. festival. Yeah. Wow. Huge. Uh, so that's, you know, that's cool. That's necessary. Here's something that I think every week we mention this. Another Nashville bar is opening up, Candy. This makes, what, 1,201? <laughs> it's it's really wild. So every week, I mean, look, you can name any from Blake Shelton to Florida Georgia Line to Luke Bryan and keep going down the list, right? And now Morgan Wallen has announced he is opening a Nashville bar. It'll be six stories high. Wow. That's yeah. That's a big bar. Oh, my God. Pretty, uh, pretty wild. He's naming it this bar after one of his songs and i mean honestly i have to get a full list of every person that has a bar because it's got to be do. dozens and dozens. that makes me think of the joke because this bar and you say where do you want to meet and you say this bar there i know this go. what bar where do you want to meet no no this, this bar. bar yeah that's right uh um, we told um, you john bon jovi is opening one too uh we told hey, you that last week my yeah. man all right um, Iowa star Caitlin Clark did indeed break the NCAA scoring record yesterday. Wow, impressive. Yeah, she is a superstar, no doubt. Um, we've been telling you uh, the last couple of days, uh, Only Murders in the Building is moving to Los Angeles, and Molly Shannon has signed on. Uh, they just announced that Meryl Streep will be returning for season ah, four. You know, I'm going to have to go back to it and give it another shot. Maybe All I wasn't right. in a good mood when I was watching it. Let me know how it goes, okay? I shall. Um, an actor named Austin North from Outer Banks, the show Outer Banks, um, he attacked workers in a Vegas ER. He says he was having a panic attack. It had nothing to do with, you know, drugs or alcohol. He, he says he doesn't even remember attacking the ER workers. I, oh, my goodness. It seems yeah. a little bit more than a panic attack. Yeah, I don't know. but uh, I've had panic attacks, and I didn't attack anyone. Agreed. I've, see, I've, I've actually been around, seen people when they've had them and i i never saw attacking so we'll see how it plays out but yeah just I thought either I way was dying i was laying on the bed going am i having a heart attack what's wrong with me you should have uh, written some poetry like i you should have <laughs> used to in the day the end of my life is near uh no but it is a serious thing panic attacks it are is serious. very serious yeah. horrible I, yeah. I i had a little period of my life where I, I actually had them and thank god i haven't had one in years but yeah. no they're not they're not good uh, director Ridley Scott, who's done a million things like uh, Gladiator and, you know, so many big movies. Um, he is going to direct, you're going to love this, a Bee Gees movie. You mean from the get-go, like from when they were little boys? It's going to be a full motion picture in theaters. Executive producer Barry Gibb. Oh, then I'm on board. And Ridley Scott is going to direct. It's going to be like a full-length feature BG's film. It's probably amazing. It's probably going to be great. I will look forward to it. I think it will be great as well. Who will play the Bee Gees? That's the question. Will that be is a good one. Interesting. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Rod Stewart sold his music catalog for $100 million. Wow. Rod. Mm. Now you yeah. can, what, go retire. Oh, my God. I mean, that's uh, Listen, if Rod's getting $100 million, that's great. You know, that's, that's a lot insane. of dough. insane. You know, I met yeah. him once. He's not tall. Nice I guy. He was like really, he was very warm, very nice. Okay. I thought he was tall all my life. I've seen him perform in faces. I mean, I've seen him, and when I met him in person, not tall. So you you know who? Know. I'll tell you. You know who's short in person? Uh, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. Ah, and also uh, Pat, uh, whatever his name is from Train. Not a big Pat. guy. Pat Monahan interviewed That's him a couple one. times. I yeah. met him in Vegas, interviewed him. He, uh, yes, I agree with that. Um, yes, St Stephen Tyler, one of, and very nice, very kind uh, when I met him many you years ago. You think they're tall from whatever, but they're not. Yeah. And finally, 
John Hamm and Billy Bob Thornton will star together in a new series called Landman. It's from the creator of Yellowstone. This is going to involve West Texas and oil rigs. And um, yeah, so that's a big show. John Hamm and Billy Bob Thornton get yeah. the uh, nod. Uh, Love in John Hamm. Oh, he's well. So here's the interesting thing. In related news, Hollywood Reporter yesterday put out a list of the top TV shows of the century, and Mad Men was number one on the list. Oh, Candy. you were on the pulse of society before society was a society. If the, by the way, if that ends up on Netflix, I will binge it again. Great show, <laughs> just amazing. Uh, TV this weekend, we got a lot going on. NBA All Star Weekend on TNT. It starts. Uh, tonight, you got celebrity games. Then tomorrow, you got skills competition. Sunday is the All Star game. You have the hockey, outdoor hockey, uh, MetLife Stadium this weekend as well, Candy. Oh, look at that. Yep. Uh, tonight, CBS with the 14th season premiere of Blue Bloods. And uh, Sunday, when we get that hockey, by the way, Rangers Islanders. Um, and I think the next day. The day prior or the day after, I forget, is Devil's Flyers at MetLife. Um, Sunday, you also get the Daytona 500 on Fox. Wow. You get the 22nd season of American Idol on ABC. This is for everyone that's like Jones in because there's no more football. That's right. And you get the 17th season of Naked and Afraid on Discovery Channel Sunday. Have you ever well. watched that? It's a crazy show. Crazy. It, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. And there's your bald and the beautiful entertainment, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. All right, here's the deal. We are going to be mid to upper 30s. Tomorrow, you may wake up to like a light coating. It's like a quick little snow that's going to pass over. Nothing major. Light coating ends by like 9 or 10 in the morning. And then the warming trend, 40 tomorrow uh, and warmer. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, Sunday through Wednesday, we're going to get up to maybe 45 as we go through the first couple days of next week. So uh, enjoy. The weather should not be terrible. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.